So, uh, Queen D, um, what is it like being a, a female MC in today's America? It's hard being a female MC. Out here in 2016, it's no love, especially for the black woman. It's, it's, really, it's really a challenge to keep a positive light on the African American female from our perspective without seeming too, you know, bitchy, without seeming stuck up, without selling yourself out, acting all fake. You know, it's really hard. So I would just suggest that anyone that's looking to get in the industry, just always remember, be yourself. That's what's going to make you who you are at the end of the day. People can tell you to be, they want you to be this, they want you to be that. You can turn into those things, but at the end of the day, without the paperwork signed on the dotted line, you will turn yourself into something and you will never see the profit. So just be yourself, be your own boss, manage yourself, manage your business first. Because if you expect anything from anybody out here, here as a female MC in hip hop, nobody's giving you nothing for free. I don't care if it's money, sex, whatever it is. I don't care. Like opportunity don't pay the bills. If somebody gives you opportunity only, that's not good enough. So you know, it's not an easy task. It's not fun. It took me forever. Like I've been around everyone from the highest to the lowest celebrities, from A list to D list, and I got no help. You know. It wasn't until I took the time to do it myself. And once I did it myself, that's when it got real for me. Like, up until that point, I was just like everybody else, in the rat race, running back and forth, trying to make it, you know? You gotta invest in yourself, do what you do. If you wanna be a female MC, if you wanna be a queen, if you wanna be a goddess, if you just wanna be that bitch, if that's your decision to be that, you gotta do it yourself. Nobody's gonna do it for you. When you hit that off with they hit, what do you feel you bring to hip hop? on they throat, really shit I ever wrote. Lame bitches, fresh air. Really, they I feel like I bring fresh air to hip hop. Like, what hip hop originally was, what it was supposed to be, the messages and everything that it was supposed to deliver to our people, I believe that I'm going to bring that back. Like, even if I just inspire, if I become nothing at all, if I'm like a one night, overnight celebrity that just shows up and makes it happen, that's what I feel I bring to hip hop. I open up the door for everyone to go back to being themselves. You don't have to be what the media wants you to be. You don't have to be what everyone else wants you to be. Be yourself. Like, like, because God delivers messages through all of us individually. So I just feel like I'm here to bring that back to him. Like, I'm gonna open up the door and let everyone walk back into reality. Cause all that fake shit is done. You already know the name. You see my friend be designer, like camera action diva. She boutique killing the hottest fashion since 2000. I've been ripping the runway. How do you feel about the bars that uh, MCs are coming up with nowadays in today's hip hop? I wouldn't consider it bars, you know? I would consider it maybe noodles. I don't know, something crazy. Very small, you know? Because they don't put a lot of effort, all into it. I think everybody needs to go back to the thesaurus and dictionary, look up words, find something new and intriguing to the mind, you know, instead of just the basic, you know, like ratchet, turned up, you know. We all use it out of fun, but I think it's really like in our language now. It's like a part of it. It's not okay. So I just really think that a lot of MCs need to get back to writing, like especially writing for themselves. Nobody knows you like you. Nobody can create your style, your image as an artist. That's what makes you an artist. When you write for yourself, that's creativeness. That makes you an artist. You know, reading something off the paper, that makes you an actor. So to me, most of these MCs personally, I think they're actors. I don't even think they're real MCs. They have no bars. Like, they can come see me. Are there any pressures as a uh, female MC? Like, do you feel any competition out there? Are you, are you worried about any of the female MCs out there now? I just treat my, my whole career like how I treat relationships. Like, I'm not going to worry about the next female. Because she's not worried about me. Like, that's the same thing with these female MCs. Like, they're not worried about me. I'm not worried about them, you know? When it's time to compete, we're going to compete. We made the best female win. Like, and if we got to collaborate for us to get the win against these guys, I'm like, let's do that too. Like, it's just all about female empowerment. 
and I want everyone to unite. Like, we don't have to segregate ourselves. It's not black against white. It's not male against female. You know, it's the human race. Like, period. And that's the end of it. But as far as competing with females out here, that's like the song Can't Be Me, you know? You can't be me, I can't be you. You gotta be yourself, I gotta be me. That's the only way we gonna win out here. We can do it together, but you can't be me. Like, and that's just how I feel about that. So we, we ain't gonna take up too much more of your time, but we do have a few more questions for you. Um, on your uh, on your uh, new record, you know what I'm saying, Queendom Come, what would be your favorite your favorite joint and why? That's kind of hard because I just want to kick him in a jam. It's my favorite because that's like my intro as a female MC. Like that's my intro to the world. Like I'm here. I'm gonna be here. If you don't get out my way, I'm gonna kick you in a J. Like for those who don't know what the J is, it's the JJ. Like, Ask Oprah, she knows what the JJ is. But anyway, like, so pick him in a J, that's like, that's my baby. I was happy to make that. But hold it on, that's, that's, that's hard. So I would say that hold it on is my favorite. Because, you know, I put a lot into that. That's a lot of my personal experiences. And just my journey, my struggle. That's still my struggle right now. Holding on. Like, it's a waiting process. Everything is a waiting. Like, it, nothing comes back. Anything work, anything I know is not going to come back. So that's why I've been holding on for this moment right here. You know, time. So that is my absolute favorite. Uh, you know, the last thing you want to know is. Uh, well, what can we expect from you uh, this year? Well, this year, I'm looking to go to learn summer. That's like my number one goal right now. So I want to go on tour. So I want to travel. I want to spread the word. But I'm out here. I'm not going nowhere. You know? So that's my, my first priority. Is, you know, continuing to book tours and stuff like that. So hold it on. Or get all the music out there. And then, like, secondly, and like you get in on the war show. Still the joke of months, but nevertheless, the relationship to King Tess. New kingdom rising. Our younger ladies dying. Sick of trying tired of the ones we love. Always playing instead of living. Okay, so uh, let everybody know your handles, where they can follow you at, and check your music out at. Well, funny you want to hear me is they not have sound and then uh, if you just want to follow me on Instagram, it's Queen B underscore Golden. I'm there all the time. Twitter, same thing, Queen B underscore Golden. I'm just out here, you know, and I just look forward to making great music and showing the world that we still here, the real people, real hip hop, you know, and it's not all about race and all this discrimination, all that, we're here to win together, and I just want everyone to realize that, that's my message, if I don't get nothing else out of it, I want to unite people that aren't united right now, because it's about us, that's it. Thank you for your time, Queen D. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know what time it is. We be looking out for you. Peace. But if you just hold on, you can make sangria. <laughs> no, no, no. But seriously, laughter kills the heart and the massages the soul. No matter how hard it gets, just hold on. Victory comes in the morning. Rise and shine, boy. The queen is here.